Welcome to the grid computing tutorials. In this tutorial we are taking a look on how to use Windows to connect to remote systems using GSI SSH term using Java Web Launcher and the downloaded binary version of GSI SSH term. To successfully complete this tutorial you need a PKCS12 certificate archive with your private key, your grid certificate and the certificate of your certificate authority on the Windows system. If your certificate authority is not a member of EU GRID, PMA or the Interoperable Global Trust Federation and is using a self-signed certificate, you will have to download and install the Java Cryptography Extension Unlimited Strength Jurisdiction Policy files. We start now this tutorial by looking for GSI SSH term which is developed and supported by the Leibniz Supercomputing Center in Munich, Germany. You can find GSI SSH term and many other European extensions building on the Globus Toolkit at the website of the European Globus Community Forum at the URL www.egcf.eu. On this website go to Resources, Software and scroll down until you find GSI SSH term. This link leads you to the LRZ website of GSI SSH term. As a first step, we scroll down to the Java Web Start application. We click on the launch button on the website and execute the JNLP with the Java Web Start launcher. Please be aware that you need at least a Java runtime 1.6 to successfully start GSI SSH term. The first start of this application can take a while. Next we click on the connect icon on the left side of the toolbar to establish a connection. We choose the server we would like to connect to and check in the advanced settings whether we are connecting to the correct server port and have X forwarding enabled. To really be able to use X forwarding on Windows you have to use an X Windows server like Xming. We start to initiate our connection by clicking on connect. GSI SSH term by default looks now into your browser certificate store for your grid certificate. If you did not install your certificate in your browser, you have to cancel this attempt and ignore the following error message. Now the window for choosing different authentication method appears, where you can choose between my proxy authentication or using a PKCS12 certificate archive. For this tutorial, we choose the PKCS12 archive format and search for our certificate archive. We enter our passphrase and click on Use Certificate. Congratulations! We now have successfully logged on to a remote system with GSI SSH term using Grid Technologies. Here we can execute different applications. If you downloaded the GSI SSH term binaries, and run GSI SSH term without the Java Web Start Launcher, you can now follow the same steps for the binary, which we present now. 